Hi guys, today I will show you how to troubleshoot your Mazda 6 GGGY model, basically from 2002 till 2008 model, models equipped with uh, xenon headlights. This one is the, with the chrome bezel, there is another version which is with a black uh, bezel inside and these are also two types the one with the integrated fog uh, light with a projector fog light and the one without the projector fog light this one doesn't have a fog light uh, projector it's a dual light so uh, let me start with the troubleshooting with the low beam troubleshooting at these headlights if you have a low beam failure, that's to say, if you don't have a low beam, it means that you have to check three parts. Your Xenon system at these headlights are consist of three parts as stated. You have one D2S bulb, an integrated uh, uh, in, uh, igniter located inside the headlight and a ballast unit. This true, these three parts consist of your Xenon system. Let me show you how they work in practice. As, as you can see, the ballast unit generates the needed uh, voltage and sends it to the igniter, and in igniter in turn powers the Xenon bulb, the Xenon gas inside the HID bulb. So, if you don't have a low beam, one of these three parts is faulty. Let me show you their location in the headlight. Here you have a back cover. Uh, by the way, uh, I have to mention that according to the official service Mazda manual, workshop manual, in order to replace your xenon bulb, your uh, xenon ballast, you have to take off all the headlight from the car. That's mean the official Mazda workshop service manual says that you have to remove the bumper and you have to remove the headlight altogether from the car. Although there are a lot of videos out there at YouTube, you can also see them. You can try to replace if you are sure that your your faulty part is the xenon bulb you can try to replace it uh, via gaining access under the wheel arc of your car uh, removing the fender and trying to reach your back cover from the wheel arc but as i stated officially the, the most safest way in order not to break the, any part from the headlight uh, mazda takes off all the headlights from the car. Let me show you. You have to turn counterclockwise the back cover in order to see your xenon bulb and the connector of your xenon igniter. Here, as you can see, in order to release the uh, xenon igniter connector, the socket, you have to turn it counterclockwise and pull it out and then you will see your xenon bulb the xenon bulb is fixed to your projector via the uh, retaining clip via ring you have to also turn it counterclockwise the axis is very limited that's why as stated it's always better to remove your headlight altogether from your car I know it's very uh, time consuming and uh, a great hassle to do that, but unfortunately this is the only way. As stated, as showed you pre previously, your Xenon bulb type is D2S type. D2S type. You can use any D2S type. Of course, always better to use uh, original products. Uh, not the aftermarket ones and here is your xenon igniter socket basically most of the time the socket in time 
if you do not lock the xenon bulb when replacing the xenon bulb properly till the end sometimes it begins if you leave it like this in time you will your socket inside will burn and you will have a de deformation inside which means that it will not make a full contact with your bulb and it will begin to flicker uh, as long as the xenon system is concerned this, the, this these these two parts plus you have a one ballast unit located underneath the headlight you will need a t t20 torx torx to remove the uh, screws underneath the headlight I already removed them in order to not to lose time here this is the ballast unit it is automating uh, lighting mate with a part number 1 307 329 086 086 Litronic 4.1D is the ballast unit that Mazda 6 is uh, uh, is using. There are a lot of other ballasts that you can use for this car. For example, this one is from Mercedes, from a very common model from W2203. This one is from BMW models, same shape, same plug ballast units. In this case, they are interchangeable. You can use them in order to replace your faulty ballast at your Mazda 6 Xenon headlight. Uh, let me check whether I have forgot something to mention about the Xenon system of Mazda 6. I think that's all for the, for this uh, Xenon system. If I have to summarize, if you have a low beam failure, one of these three parts is faulty. Either your D2S type Xenon bulb, your Xenon igniter, which has a part number 1307-329-080. This igniter, by the way, the same igniter, igniter with the same numeration is used at many BMW E46 models, inc including compact models. So if you have a faulty igniter, you can source it from the BMW Xenon headlights. And by the way, uh, if you find out that you have a faulty igniter, after you swap the Xenon bulb, from the working side headlight to the non-working side headlight and after you swap the xenon ballast from the working side headlight and put it to the non-working side headlight and if you still do not have a low beam given that your wiring is okay and all the fuses are okay then it means that your xenon igniter is faulty then you have to replace it the next video will be about how to replace this igniter unit igniter which is located as you can see inside the headlight basically you don't have a access to the screws to the fixing screws in order to unscrew them so you have to open the headlight altogether you have to remove the lens and replace it in the next video i will show you how to remove the lens and subsequently how to replace the xenon igniter thanks for watching guys that's all for now see you next in the next video all the best bye bye for now